And of course, if I die, I'm gonna have to save and then load that file. Elden is the bird, right? Elden's the bo bird uh, spirit, correct? I can't remember. Because Ordana is the goat. You see Russell injured if you go back to Ordan? Yes, I did. I did know that. Which is funny, considering he was perfectly fine with being able to kick my ass. But, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but then... He just gets his crap wrecked by the... Bacoblins? Bacoblins? Or no, are these the Bacoblins? And those are Ma... They're not Moblins, are they? I'm gonna feel really dumb if those are Moblins. Oh, wait a minute. I have to go back anyways. Uh, I gotta get the bottle. Because there's no way I'm doing this with just one bottle. I forgot to talk to him. Oh, come on. Really? There. Buy a little bottle. Ba -da -ba -ba. Thanks, dude. Are they? Moblins are the green ones? Huh. I guess that would make sense. Wow, that dropped a 10? Oh. Here comes uh, Aaron from Green Grump's favorite creature. Where is he? Oh, I didn't get him in the cutscene. He's like over here somewhere. Actually, oh, where are the bugs? I better collect those now, too. Oh, sorry. I was being chased. I could hear his pitter patter, which is funny. Sorry, I never hear that before. one of them bugs. I think there's a bug nearby. I know there's a bug somewhere along the entrance. just very difficult to spot in the daytime. I might be along this side. Moblins aren't in TP, it's Pacoblins, Bulbin, Bulbins, those are the ones. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even have to stun it. I know there's a bug somewhere near here. It's near one of the entrances. Bulbins are the bandit dudes. I thought so. Okay. Oh, there's a Carter Rock on me. 
Is there a bug here? Oh god, there's a couple. <laughs> Oops. God, that was an infestation. somewhere near here. I know it's in the middle. Hidden Village music is going to be dope. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, come on. I know there's one near here. Oh, right there. No, get back here. Gotcha. Alright, now I gotta get the second one. Which is... I think it's in the middle. I just gotta make sure not to accidentally grab the uh, heart piece on a tree. It's on one of these trees here. I love the night theme of Hyrule Field. Oh boy, the skeleton dogs are back. That's the heart piece. Where's the, where's the bug? Uh, I just nabbed the female. I just nabbed that one. I think that's the female. Wait. Duh, am I dumb? Found in the field. Oh, never mind. Is this the one where I can't get the other one until later on? Am I just being very, very dumb? Trying to listen for them. Below, right side of the water thing on the map. What? between two bits of higher land? It's the marching band that got robbed. In between two bits of higher land. In between? What? I'm so confused.
wait, in between the two bits of higher land. Oh, right there. I just saw it. Thank you. God, you can barely see anything in this one. It's so blurry. Thank you from Chad. Plus, it's very blurry on the GameCube version. I just realized your name blends in the bottom left, so I can't even. People probably can't even read what your name is, unless it's like a brown patch in front of it. Where to go? Wow, it is very dark. It's even darker on my TV now. Jeez. Ominous. Bada bell. Want me to let you into the twilight? Twilight? Sure. Here's where I find the little. Did you just? Okay, yeah, that works. How the hell did you do that? Oh, that's right. I forgot you can pick your own color. I actually forgot all about that. I think mine's like bright red <laughs> because obviously I'm a sucker for red. I had the choice between the multicolor ch uh, settings and I just went with the one that had red. Yellow! Right here. Ba -dum -bum. Look for the bridge. Found the bridge. Good little obedient wolf dog. Also, ever notice how in this scene her eye whites out? Uh, you probably can't notice on the GameCube version. But in like the HD version you can see like her her eye her one eye like goes from like with the orange to it just whiting out Controller is still clicky, clicky clacky. I wish I could insert pictures in chat. I, uh, I don't think Twitch can do that. I think it's just emotes and emojis. I always run past these guys. 
They're not a threat. Is that on this side? Yes, it is. What are we going to insert into chat? Should I be concerned? Oh, I didn't even hit that. Isn't this one like where it's blocked off? One of them is. This is not gonna work. What? Ah, okay. And I've... Was it just me or did the Wolf Link do another jump to get to the last one? I feel like he did an extra jump to get to that last beast. speak to you again. Not sure I wasn't paying attention. Fair enough. I'll end up finding out when I upload the episodes. Uh, okay. I remember I gotta jump up here. One thing I remember from rupee grinding in this game is that when you're a human and you shoot the bell with a bomb arrow, you can get 200 rupees out of it. I think it's per save file, though. Isn't her name Beth? Did he just chuckle as he put that down? That's funny. I look weird with a hood on. There we go. No, for the longest time I thought, what is it, Ronaldo? I think that's the person's name. I thought they were a, a chick because of the hair. And I thought that was a boy <laughs> or that she was a boy. I was so confused when I was a kid. I was like, funny looking girl, weird looking boy. Barnes is kind of a douche. Yeah, that too. He gives off like Waluigi vibes. <laughs> the boy who cried wolf. Oh my god. <laughs> he cried for a wolf. Foof, foof. You know that if you actually use your senses and talk to them again, they just freak out because the cellar opened? Are you going to do Mart, uh, Mallow Mart thing to get the useless rupees? Armor? Oh. Uh, where are they? Um, yeah, 
guess I'll just have to make sure not to pick up the heart piece from the Goron. Because when you deliver the hot water to the Goron, you, he drops a heart piece on his way back. So I just gotta remember not to pick that up, and then I'm good. Also, did you know that Wind Waker prioritizes a piece of heart when you're trying to do a three heart run? Gotcha. Freaked out a little bit there, but... Uh, when you get the Cabana Deed, you have to give her... Uh... Oh. When you gotta get the Cabana Deed, you gotta do the Killer Bees thing. And then, for doing that, I think you get given a piece of heart, because it made me get one during the live stream yesterday. Not yesterday, the day before. The day before last. I can't remember when, but it was in during the last stream they made me get a piece of heart. Cause you had to talk to the killer bees and talk to the lady again. Then give her a piece of heart from the killer bees. And it ends up she gives you a piece of heart as a thank you. Yeah, so did I. So when I got to that part, I was like, okay, just give me the cabana, dude. Then it popped up with that. I was like, oh, no. I almost ended the stream right there because I collected a heart piece. Did it really? It did. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, I thought they were like right in front of the door. Pokemon Nuzlocke or Randomizer. Uh, I had it set up on my last computer where I could do a randomizer. And it was going to be Pokemon Y. But the cutscenes were glitched to the point to where you couldn't see the background. You could only see what character was in it. And it was very, very weird. And I don't recall uh, being able to fix it. Nuzlocke, probably. Randomizer, sadly not at the moment. I wish I could. Unless I do one on a, on a phone emulator, which would be very, very weird. Give me that 10 rupees. Or is it 20? Ah. Sounds like a fever dream. It was weird. Like, like I think the sky was okay, but... The characters, the characters and the sky were fine, but the bet, the land that they were standing on was just pitch black. It's so like you'd see like the outline of the trees and the and the background, but you, then you just see the sky and the two characters when you start the game. And I'm like, uh. But the other rest of the game worked fine. Just it was just the pre-modeled 3D cutscenes that was messing up and quite buggy. Why am I up here? I gotta go down here. Alright. You didn't see that. I wanna try doing like a Zelda randomizer or something. Like a Wind Waker randomizer? I wanna try that. That sounds fun. They actually just made a Twilight Princess randomizer too. And I really wanna try that. Because I know this game almost like the back of my hand, so... I say that as I miss a, miss a spin attack. Oh, 
Oh, what? No, go back. There. <coughs> Oop, my bad. Got the mute. What the hell? Come on. There. Dang, I'm surprised I got that. This part. There's a lot of parts in this game I say I love. I like them all equally. Breath of the Wild randomizer defeat Calamity Ganon after obtaining what? Oh, delete defeat Calamity Sidon after obtaining the Master Ganon. I totally mis misunderstood that. <laughs> wow, that was very sad on my part. Did I really just get hurt by that? Oh, I hope this doesn't drop a lot of frames. Alright, good. I had to sacrifice someone's house. Link used. <laughs> Link used explosion. It was super effective. The bug trio fainted. Link won the battle. Very dumb joke. Wasn't that Barnes' house? That was his uh, extra supply of. Uh, Gunpowder, I believe. Oh, really? Really? There. That was Barnes' uh, supply house for his gunpowder and extra bombs. Hence why it was so explosive. I love how no matter what height you jump from as Wolf Link, why did he have a fireplace? You know, that's a good question. Anyway. <laughs> now, to be honest, I don't know why he had a fireplace in his, in his storage shed. That might have been Barnes' actual house, though. I never... I not once have actually taken a look around inside there. I've just gone for it. If I play this in HD, I'm gonna have to take a take a second to look around, because I feel like it is his actual house house. That might be why he just doubled it as a storage shed. What the hell is happening? There it goes. Uh. Oh, I'm way off. Hey, I remembered it. I didn't even have to look at it. <laughs> Wait a minute.
I think that is Song of Healing. I know Requiem of Spirits in this one, and I'll know that one immediately. Because that one was my favorite one. Ba, ba, da, da, ba, da. I think that's Song of Healing. And this one's going to be in Ordon Springs. I think it's in Ordon Springs. Hell yeah, my memory is still serving me correctly. Ow. Oh, dang it. Ah, what a bastard. I forgot about that one here. Jesus, come on. One's on the wall, one's in the spring, I believe. I think that's where they are. I think one should be on that wall right there. Oh, this is where one of them's blocked off. I remember this. Youch. True. Ah, come on. That was almost close. That was almost too close. There he is. I knew it was on the wall. Gotcha. Where do I jump up? Oh, wait. It was right back over here. What am I doing? Going the wrong way. That's what I'm doing. Go away. Ooh, frame rate dropped. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give. I'm invincible. Slowly opens eyes. Do you think it would hurt your eyes if you if because of it being adjusting to the Twilight Realm and then it just suddenly being daylight again or real light again? <laughs> Happy three hours. AKA 4 because of the failed attempts. Bow before the holy butterfree. Oh, what's that other one? Ah, uh, what is it? Verizian. Is Verizian what I'm thinking of? Frozma? Or, uh, because of how white it is, uh, a Fero? Verizian was a green deer. What? What am I thinking of then? There was one that started with a V, I thought. What am I thinking of?
Wasn't there a bug creature that had grain in it? Not the dust nox. Uh, or no, that had a V in it. Dravillion, that's it. I knew it was a VI something. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah, you did. Okay. <laughs> the regional design but butterfly. Regional design butterfly. Yeah. Is it Ronaldo? Ren Renato. Okay. I, I actually threw an L in there. Yeah, wait. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't know why. I'm going to keep that thought to myself, actually. <laughs> but Mr. Renato found us. I can't do that voice. I can't do the voice Danny does. Oh, well. For some reason, when I want to do the, that voice, I just I just go like this. I sound like a, a, a pu pre pubescent Kermit, or a Kermit that's in puberty. I just realized this is gonna be the the, the start to an episode because of it being three minutes, uh, three hours and four minutes in. So this is gonna be the, a start to an episode, and it's gonna confuse somebody that I just brought up a. Puberty, gone through puberty, Kermit. What, this voice right here? I can't really do that much about this one. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That actually hurt my throat a little bit. You must take these children and flee. It's in no way a child's voice. <laughs> That's right. Didn't didn't Aaron do that for Mallow's voice? Like he, made it like with the a nightmare. It was like a nightmare <laughs> or something like that. That's right, I gotta go up there, fall once, leave, and then I get Epona. I actually don't know, I only saw brief highlights of their playthrough. Uh, actually, a few days ago, they uploaded the entirety of it all in one video, but like highlights of it, uh, edited by Spazbear. Spacebear? Spazbear? I don't know how to say it. But it was like their homage to April 1st. So that was kind of interesting. It had most of their highlights in it. No humans allowed. Can I just jump off? Please. Please. Not even gonna try. I don't think that a nightmare line is in that highlight though. Sadly. I know Aaron somehow failed the carriage portion and had it. Uh, he did not have arrows, that's why. <laughs> that's why he failed it so much. Uh, that's a terrible game over screen, though. They just fucking burned alive. They burned with everything else. Damn. And here's Epona. I remember this being a pain. Well, no, you just need the Gale Boomerang to put out the flames. Right, but he couldn't shoot down the... He, he focused mostly on the Kargaroks. And he was using a slingshot. <laughs> there was just... Exactly, that's what, I was, that's what I'm talking about. I remember when I was a kid, this was a pain. But now I get it first try every time. Da, da, da. How do I remember what 
what theme was gonna play. Alright, go. Um. I could have sworn she calls you a wriggling worm. Oh, I just obliterated that sign. Oh, my CPU jumped up to 44. I'm not sure if that's good or not. Oh, uh... Bugs. Uh, left on this side, and then next to the tree on the other side. I think... I think... Am I remembering that right? To the left from me should be one of the bugs, then across the bridge, up near the tree, or in a little... Flower patch should be the other one. I hear it. Already. Where'd it go? There it is. I think I got it. I think it was just those ones in the southern Hyrule field that I got. Yeah, because I can hear the other one already. It should be right here. My memory is coming in clutch. Thank you, though, for the offer. I had to remember if it was that side or not. That's actually the best little bit of grass to farm rupees in with Epona. Because you just go right through it and you get rupees. While I'm here. Or while I'm going this way. Did you know that you can encounter him on horseback? You just don't end up on, on the opponent afterwards, I think. Ooh, that echo was a bit weird. This is actually how I'm going to end up burning the shield, so... I can't believe you've sat down for like three hours of your day just watching me play a game. Yeah, I was right, you don't end up on Epona. Oh yeah, while well, I'm here. Dip my toe in the water. I don't think I'll be doing the Cave of Ordeals while I'm doing this playthrough though. Because that just seems like a pain.
might finish this off at four hours, so about another hour. Oh, I hated this part. This part was so annoying. Renato told you that. I'm kind of listening while I do other things. Remember the little Cyclops ice things in the ice mansion? I always used the mortal draw on them because they froze you in place annoyingly. Yeah, that's true. Uh, no. Oh, okay, good. I hated this part. This part was so annoying. It's still annoying to this day. Isn't it that you do this twice and then it's just done? Thin boy. What? That's the fastest I've ever done that. Oh, jeez. That's right. Alright, I started with a slap. He went for a slap. He's gonna go for a grab. I'll go for a grab. Or a slap. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh no. Nice try. Oh, what? Come on, come on, come on. Slap, slap. Push him. Thank God. Now I only gotta do this one more time. My secret is in that chest. Take it with you. Yeah, you cheated against the Gorons. That's essentially what I hear from this guy every time. Oh, wait. While I'm here, isn't there a thing behind Russell's house? Like, I, I remember at one point there was a thing. There is a thing! How do I get that? Ah. Uh. can see it. It's an orange rupee. But how the hell do I get it? I can see it. Maybe from the other side? It is from this side. Did you know of this? Did you know about this? Make it very possible to drown underwater. Yep, that is correct. I gotta actually go into my basement. That sounds very sketchy. I think I'm gonna end up watching the Zelda bridges again now because of you. Because you keep bringing them up and I keep thinking about them. I'm like, I haven't seen those in a while. <laughs>
I didn't know about that. You could have robbed Russell while the man was bedridden. Uh, you can only do that after you get either the Gale Boomerang or the Yoda Claw Shot. Because I think those are the only two that items that can reach there. You've completely forgotten about it. I wonder... I don't think this little trick works. Oh god, you can't even see my eyes. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. I think this is the only place in any Zelda game that has a working mirror. Also, you want to something funny? I literally have the death counter ready. But I haven't died yet, so it's just been sitting here. How much is the delay in stream now? I hope the delay is still not too bad. Oh, I get to fight. So it's just been sitting here. Instant streaming karma. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, I might have spoken too soon. Considering I plan on getting rid of my wooden shield. In this literally upcoming segment. Or rather, at the beginning of the fire temple, so. The delay isn't bad, it just takes me a while to type. Ah, okay. On why iPad? I know you meant mine. I love this scene coming up because it's just so good. Also, that little chime there is Colin saying, "Nice timing." <laughs> as soon as he pushes pushes her, your thing pops up in the bottom left. But the chime there is literally Colin saying, "Beth." I love this scene because he looks so pissed. If you have your sword out before uh, going out to the field. If you have your sword out before you go out here, it's so funny because it keeps the sword out in, this, in the cutscene. So... So this shot here... Just dead silence. I love it. I 
love it. It's so awkward. Oh, yay. Now I get to see if I can do this in one shot. This might be where I die. There we go. Oh, my, my arm is twitching. Take a hit there. Like at all? Did I even take a hit? I don't think I did. I might have. I did get hit? I thought so. Because I think I had a spin attack charged and then I got whacked in the side. My muscle memory coming clutch, please. I did get hit. Alright. I almost got hit there. I love how the bull just keeps riding, and it's like, how did Link get Colin off the thing? Plus, he doesn't have him in the scene. Oh my god, look, it's a Zelda chess piece.